What's up, y'all? My name is Charlie Garwood. I'm a photographer, videographer based out of Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about event photography and videography, event coverage, if you will, and uh, kind of what I look for when I cover an event. Regardless if it's photo or video, they kind of fall in the same same category. So the first question that I ask my point of contact, the event coordinator, whoever I'm kind of collaborating with, working with, is who is or who are the people or person of importance. I think it's very important to know who the people of importance are. That way you can kind of highlight them um, and not only them, but if their wife is there, if their husband's there, if their kids are there, um, you can kind of anticipate moments a little bit easier. Uh, so, you know, if like they're walking up to their significant other, there's a good chance that there might be a, a deep hug, a, a smile, a laugh, a kiss, you know, something of that nature. And I try to grab that any chance I get. The next thing with event photography, videography, is I'm always kind of looking at how can I uh, make creative compositions. Event photography can get super just like plain Jane and a lot of times that's okay like you still have to have um, a little bit of your basic shot list if you will you know your bare minimums that you need to get but also challenge yourself to look for things that you could potentially shoot through look for places that you can shoot from uh, and then keep those in mind because then you can anticipate a person walking into that frame. So you might have to camp out a little bit, which is totally cool. Most of the time events are super long. Uh, they start to get redundant. So um, take advantage of it. Flex that creative muscle. But it's super important to just be mindful of the compositions that you want to create early on in the event so that you can work around the uh, event unfolding to capture the moments within that composition. The next thing that I'm looking for, and arguably the most important in terms of just overall event coverage, is smiles, uh, laughter, hugs, handshakes. You wanna give people that weren't there FOMO. So you want to tell this story, if you will, of a good time had by all in attendance. So it's really important to capture the smiles, the handshakes, the hugs, the high fives, the laughter, things like that. And it'll entice people to potentially uh, sign up for this event or make arrangements to go to this event when it comes back around the next year. And if you can portray that through imagery, then that will add value to your client because they're selling more tickets and you get booked again. Hope you guys got some value out of this. Um, event photography and videography, event coverage is kind of, uh, if I had to say I have a niche, uh, that would be it. I've been doing this for almost a decade now, so um, I'm pumped to begin sharing value and tips and knowledge with you guys to hopefully you know, cut that learning curve for you and um, just help you um, get better quicker. So appreciate you guys. Peace.